Hello, and welcome back to a page-by-page -page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today, page 40. If uh, you weren't able to see page 39's review and aren't familiar with it, I highly recommend dropping. Uh, I know it's kind of hard sometimes with the daily uploads, to not watch this one and then go back, but I suggest highly going back and watching that video for my uh, thrilling take on page 39, uh, which was highly referential of page 38. So if you're not familiar with page 38, I would recommend stopping the review of page 39. And once you go from page 40 where you're at now to page 39, I'm going to give you the same message and you're going to want to go to page 38 to see my really upset review of page 38 which is juxtaposed with the great review of page 39 which with now or with today's this uh, review of page 40 complete a, a cycle I was very hopeful for page 39 to be really good and I was really hoping that that level and caliber of writing from uh, Frank Herbert would would uh, continue and it really does into page 40 but anyways, enough talking about the series and sequence of pages. But if uh, you are confused about that, make sure to go into the comments and let me know. I'm more than happy to clarify things or just answer any questions in general. I'm really excited for somebody to, to comment. Um, but yeah, let me know. Paul continues to describe his dream with the girl and the fact that she calls him Us Usul. Um, but he doesn't know the name of any planet Usul and realizes that perhaps she's calling him Usul. And the Reverend Mother asks him what poem Paul was describing to her, and it was one of Gurney Halleck's poems. Um, and Jessica begins to recite it. Um, which is interesting that she also is aware of this situation and the, the poems and dreams. And we end mid-poem. Lift is the last word, which is such a fantastic way to end a page. Uh, it's really solid. Let me know what you think about page 40. I thought it a great page. Of Dune by Frank Herbert.